What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. Do not forget, quick reminder when we intro this video here, Nasty Red 20 times entries are live, 20 times entries are only available until this Sunday and that's the end of 20X for the entire giveaway. However, you can also get a 12,000 bonus entry applied to your orders that are placed on our app only until tonight, Wednesday, June 7th at midnight. Once it strikes midnight tonight, the bonus is done for the app. So download our app, links are in the description, place an order, buying anything on the app, and you're automatically entered with that 12,000 entry bonus, but that is only until tonight, June 7th at midnight. Now, that being said, you do not need any kind of code. You simply download the app, or if you've already got the app, place an order on the app, and that's it. And it's automatically applied under your order name and number into the giveaway for this truck, plus $5,000 in cash. For all other people that don't want to download the app, or maybe you can't for some reason, it's available for Apple and Android users, but you can still go to the website and place an order, and you're still gonna get 20X entries on anything you buy on the site, no matter how you enter. This giveaway is ending on June 25th, and those bonus entries are expiring tonight. I told you guys I would not roll it over 100,000 miles before we had a winner, and I did not. I got it at 99,464 miles on this truck and uh, it'll still be well under 100,000 miles. When I say well, I mean hundreds of miles away from being 100,000 miles on this thing by the time the winter comes and picks this thing up. Now I am still waiting to hear back on who won the truck, however I did hear from the attorney that is doing the drawing. He said everything is all good to go and a drawing should be taking place today which by the time you see this video that would be yesterday so make sure uh, if i don't mention it in this video later on if for some reason by time i hear back on who it actually was it's not mentioned in this video definitely stay tuned into our website or the best place would be our instagram or facebook page because usually those are the first places we will post a winner is that one of my wife's hairs on my hoodie again we do not direct message our winners on social media ever. So if you get a direct message, which is just like a personal message or a normal like private message on either Facebook or Instagram, any kind of social media, that is not from us. So beware of that stuff. Do not correspond with those people. Those are scams. And uh, when we have a winner, we will be making posts all over social media like always. I know there's some people that say, these guys have been doing giveaways for years and we've never seen a winner posted. I'm like, well then you must have never seen our YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, website, uh, Snapchat, TikTok, you must have never seen anything on our social media because usually we post the winners everywhere we can think of as soon as we have a winner. So stay tuned with that and good luck to you. We are back from town, ran into town, had to get a couple things done here for some title work and stuff, but we are going to be proceeding with this video on the wife's truck. And I've kind of been doing a mini series on this truck, just kind of working into some of the content we've been putting out. And little by little, I think we're going to get this thing, we're going to try to figure out the exact look we want to go for here and today we're going to be proceeding with the journey of that by changing out the cab lights so we are going to be doing a couple of other things so stay tuned for the next video because we're going to be doing something in the next video that you don't normally see on these third gens at least not very many yet it's going to be pretty sweet but that being said we're going to pull this thing around you know get it fired up pull it around into the shop so it's in the shade a little bit and we're going to be swapping out the cab lights on this thing to kind of get rid of that orangish amber look um they look good on the truck but it's just not really tying in with the theme of this thing and so we're going to try to little by little transition it all over to one theme which is going to be the clear and chrome housings and white leds and that's the goal that we're going for and that's the look we're going with so let's get this thing fired up pulled around and swap these things out filming solo does have its challenges so Instead of getting a nice, cool startup video from the back, uh, looks like we're gonna be hopping up in the truck. So let's get to unboxing our new cab lights and see what they look like compared to those. So of course this is still in the package, but you can see in terms of shape and size, it's the exact same, which is good to see. But this is your clear lens with that little mini LED 
panel in there. Kind of reminds you of a small LED light bar, but a little LED panel in there versus the halogen bulb. So we're gonna get to pulling these off one by one. I like to do them one at a time, take one off, test it just to make sure the wiring, like the plug was inserted the correct direction. Cause if you do it the wrong way, it'll be, you know, you gotta make sure the negative and negative and positive and positive connections are touching. Otherwise, if you just plug them all in without checking, um, you'll probably get down and realize that half of them don't work. Now, when you do go to install these, instead of having to do one by one and just guess, you should actually be able to look at the white wire versus black wire. And of course, a white wire with a gray line through it is going to be your positive and the black is going to be your negative. So you can follow that all the way up to the connections here where it goes into the plug and you can match that up to the red and the black. Of course, red being positive, black negative. That way you hopefully do not have to go through the whole, the whole process of just like testing and flipping on and off. I would still do it this way and test just to be sure there's nothing funky with your wiring, but that should be a that should be a safe method to where you're not gonna have to, you know, plug them in and unplug them a bunch of times just to test back and forth. So we're gonna get to doing this, popping these off, and seeing how this thing looks with a full conversion from amber to LED up front. Or at least a mostly full done conversion of amber to LED up front. And there's gonna be a little bit more to come in the next video. So let me just make this quick for you and check these things out. Man, check that out. And guys, if you look at this truck, it's gonna resemble something we've done very recently, which would be this bad boy right here. Yes, and we should hopefully, I'm really hoping the winner cooperates and gets the information over to the attorney as fast as possible so I can update you guys in this video because he is calling a winner today and he is getting their information. That way we can reveal it to all of you so we know who the winner for this truck is. But that being said, this look is what we went with on the wife's truck. Chrome clear LED housing, chrome clear and LED cab lights, chrome clear housings and cab lights. So it looks so freaking good. The cab lights are actually like super bright. They're literally like when you look into them, um, they're not just like a glow. They're actually like legit bright. So man, it looks so stinking good. Check it out from the front straight on beautiful a little up high so you can see the cab lights a little bit better on the roof of the truck i mean they are they are beautiful and bright you can see like i said they're almost like mini led light bars those are little led panels in there and man are they freaking bright and of course this is what they look like turned off just a clear housing and uh they look pretty good still i mean they just again they're just kind of supposed to match you know the whole charcoal and clear housing clear lighting led theme that we're going with on this truck and like i said don't miss the next video because we're going to continue on this process and this journey with this truck and you're not going to want to miss it and if you haven't done so yet and you've been watching for a while make sure you hit that bell for notifications so that those are turned on because I know that a lot of times I get comments that are like, hey, I subscribed to your notifications like a long time ago. And then my notifications just somehow are turned off and I never turn them off myself. I don't know if that's like a weird YouTube thing where it resets your notification settings based on what you engage with or how that works. All I know is it's happened a lot. And if you want to make sure you don't miss anything, you know, just hit the notification bell if you want to make sure you're reminded when new content goes out or if you just want to continue to look for it and kind of come and go and see if we've uploaded. That's fine, but you are gonna miss some content. So hit the bell if you wanna make sure you don't miss anything. Thanks. So I just got news back from the attorney that does the drawing and he said that the winner has actually confirmed all the documentation. We confirmed his order information, name, address, details, and we're gonna be giving him a call right now. However, I do not have another camera to film me right now. So I'm gonna try to get a little bit of a screen recording reaction. Hope you guys enjoy his reaction. Let's get him on the phone. Well, I tried to screen record the phone call and I don't know why it didn't work the way that I thought it would. Maybe it only works for like FaceTime videos or something. Um, I was able to record the screen, but I didn't get any audio. There was no audio at all, but Chris sounds like a super cool guy and he's, he's pumped to come get this thing. He actually said he just, he's like, ah, he's like, I just bought a new truck too. So he's like super pumped. He's like, I'm going to be a little bit torn on what to do, whether I you know, put this truck for sale or if I, you know, decide to keep it or whatnot. That's another one of those trucks that if he would, if he'd be interested in selling it, I'd be interested in buying it off him. If I'm being honest with you, we didn't have the dually that long, but you guys really, 
really like that truck. So um, I'm gonna give him a little piece of information there. That way, if he at least wants to think about it, consider it or whatever, uh, maybe we could just have a fat stack of cash here equal to the value of the truck instead of uh, him taking the truck, if that's something he'd be interested in. But I have a feeling he's probably gonna wanna hang on to the truck at least for a little bit, but we'll see. But regardless of that, he seemed super pumped about this whole situation and he is just so excited. He said he does have a business of his own and so his schedule's pretty tight with stuff, but he's gonna try his best to try to line it up whether this weekend or the next, try to squeeze in time to get on out here because it's a decent drive for him. He's out of Pennsylvania, but he's out of the farthest east point of Pennsylvania. So it's almost eight hours or so. And that is just to get to central Ohio from here. So it's not a short drive, but it's not the worst either. We've had a winter that actually had to drive like 30 some hours from Washington state actually. He flew out here and drove a first gen Dodge back and he said he loved the trip and he would do it again. But um, I mean, it's uh, eight hours is still a haul. So can't wait to see him. And to everybody else, thank you so much for watching the videos and supporting the brand, supporting the channel. You guys are awesome. We love you. And we couldn't do what we do without you. Like we could not make Chris's dreams come true with winning this beautiful clean second gen and $5,000 in cash it was not for everybody participating. It's a group effort. And when I say that, I really mean it uh, because we're not just like, oh, you know, like we've just got so much money and trucks to give away. We just wanna give it all away. I mean, this is a business. This is how, you know, I support my family and this is how we support the YouTube and this is how we can buy another truck and, you know, put cool wheels on it and have them painted and do stuff. You know, we can't do this without people placing the orders. And so when it comes down to it, we need you guys and we love you guys for supporting us and just sticking along for you that just watch the content. We appreciate you as equal and uh, cannot be cannot be happier. So thank you guys so much for all the love and all the support. And I'll catch you in the next video.